Weirdo Benjo. How cool is this t-shirt? I absolutely love it. Massive shout out to Rezel VR for sending this thing over to me from the States. He actually had to buy it because the company who makes this don't ship it to the UK because it's aliens and there's a licensing issue which is ridiculous so I sent him money he bought it he shipped it to the UK and now I can wear it and it's amazing but we're not here to talk about aliens today we're here to talk about mercenaries mode for Resident Evil 4 VR on the Quest 2 this isn't going to be a long video and I'm not going to do a long drawn out intro because you all know this game you all know what Resi 4 VR is. If you haven't played it, chances are you're too young and your parents won't let you, which is a real shame. I'm really sorry for you. Or you just haven't bought it yet, which is crazy. You're doing VR wrong. You need to buy it right now. This is my favorite Quest 2 game of the last few years. Um, I'm a huge Resi fan and I adored playing this through in VR. I played it through, I think, three times to try and unlock as much as I could. And I've had a bit of a break now and I'm ready to come back, but I've got the Infinite Ammo Rocket Launcher, which is amazing. Now, Mercenaries Mode is a brand new time attack, horde mode, challenge style game type, which adds infinite replayability to this game. Let me show you what it is. So basically, there are five different characters which you need to unlock. You start with Leon unlocked, but you can unlock Ada, Krauser, Hunk, and Wesker. Um, they all have their own individual outfits as well, different outfits to choose from. So you've got classic Leon here. You've got Leon with a vest on. You've got RPD Leon, which is the very best one. That's the one I'm going to use. And then you've got Resi 4 Flight Jacket Leon. But we're going to go with the RPD Leon. Now, each character will have their own unique loadout. So Leon comes with a shotgun and the pistol, some ammo and one healing spray. But you can find more ammo and heals within the levels. Once you pick your character, you go through, and there's four levels to try and get the high score on. Now, these high scores <laughs> are tough to get unless you know what you're doing. I've completely forgotten how to play Mercenaries mode. It's all about chaining the kills to get the very most out of the points. If you drop kills or too much time el elapses, then you're going to drop your combo and you're not going to be able to get these crazy high scores. There's four different levels to play, and that in itself is a huge amount of content. But there's more. There's also a ton of unlockables. So I've already touched upon the characters that you can unlock, but there are also some guns to unlock. So there's the Chicago typewriter and a hand cannon. And then some really cool stuff like big head mode and a black and white classic horror filter. I'm so excited for those and I really want the golden guns. But that's going to take a while to unlock because to unlock those, you need to complete challenges, which are a completely separate part of Mercenaries mode as well, which I'll show you in a mo. For now, Let's jump into the village, and I'll show you how this mode works. It's so much fun. This is probably my favorite VR horde mode. Um, and I can see already myself putting a lot of time into this. Now the key here is to go fast, and to try and pick up as many of these time, additional time capsules as possible, because you are against the clock, always. Okay, come on, come on. Now, I think there's probably a bit of a tactic in storing up the kills and trying to get them all in quick succession. Um, you have to be fairly accurate. So I've got a two in a row. Oh my god, he's still alive. He's still alive. He's got no head. He's still alive. So you have to move fast. You want to get the kills quickly. There we go, there we go, there we go. Three in a row. And if you keep stacking the kills, you go into bonus time. Which means kills are worth more money. But I get lost it. Oh, come on. Four in a row. Come on, let's build up some build up a combo. He's turned to a bloody squid. Knew it. There we go, he's on fire. That'll do. Is he dead? No. What are you saying? Nice. Eight in a row. Here come the chainsaw ladies. Whew. Oh, hey, she's here. She's here now. She's here. Gonna lose that combo. No, I got it. Keep the combo going. Keep the combo going. No, she cut my head off. <laughs> she, yeah, she cut my head off. That happened. 
I'm a dead man now. I am a dead man. <sighs> right, this is it. This is the 60,000 point run. I can feel it. Now, to start, I'm just going to get the time. Time and ammo. There's got to be a tactic to this. Has to be a tactic. Bugger off, you old man. And you, crazy lady. Bugger off. Shotgun rampage. Shotgun rampage. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god, they're not dying. They're not dying. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Oh, these points. The points are flowing in now. They're flowing in. Flowing like wine. Red, red wine. Oh my god. Put that down. Thank you. Got all these guys. Oh my god, I wish I had a grenade or something right now. Ooh. Give me a break! Right, I don't think there's any more time to collect anywhere. I think time is done. I just have to exist now until the end. Maybe in there, actually. Ooh. More time! More time! Come on in, you scumbags. That's not good. Uh-oh! No! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was good. Come on. No! <clears throat> Holy god, this is crazy! This is crazy! How much is that life? How much is that life? This is insane! I'm so close to getting 60,000. I'm so close to unlocking Ada. Come on. Come on. No! No, 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 no! <sighs> 60,000! Oh, I've done it! God, this is so good! what I'm talking about. I don't know how you get 125,000. That is insane. But it's okay. We unlocked Ada. Come on now. Come on now. Here she is. The Red Rogue. Ada has been unlocked in the Mercenaries. This mode is amazing. I'm so happy this is a free addition to the game. It's, it's awesome. So, so cool. So, Ada's unlocked now. We have Ada. She has a different loadout. She's got incendiary grenades. She's got an Uzi. She's got this bloody, crazy, full auto assault rifle. And she has some outfits. Oh, yeah. that The classic. The classic red dress. Oh, man. This mode is amazing. I love it so much. So I said this wasn't going to be a particularly long video. And I mean it. We've been into classic. We've gone in there. We've got a high score in the village. And we've unlocked Ada. So you know what that's all about. There's tons of hours of content in that just on its own if you want to chase the high scores but if you want to get the unlockables if you want to unlock big head mode golden guns fast forward the black and white filter etc etc then you need to come back to this menu and come into the challenge modes now in challenges there's loads of predetermined missions <laughs> 20 of them that give you a set of rules you need to abide by so I've so far completed Say Hello, which gives you a Chicago typewriter with unlimited ammo that you never need to reload, and you need to try and get 150,000. I managed 93,000. 
Now, each of these has a different theme or a different set of rules, as I say. Wild West was dual-wielding pistols. Really, really good, but very, very slow. Hack and Slash is just knife only. To show you what this challenge mode is all about, I'm going to try two of them right now. First up, I'm going to try Time Rush, and then I'll finish the video on Wild West, I think. Now, in Time Rush, the little time extensions keep spawning around the map, but they only give you small, incremental, additional bits of time. So you need to keep collecting those. Let's see what kind of score I can get. I'm playing as Ada! So that's... that's fun in itself. Okay. So in this one, oh my god, it doesn't waste any time, does it? So in this, I'm going to have to go really fast. Because I've only got 37 seconds and need to find the time. Right, where is the time? We'll worry about enemies later. Why did I do that? That was silly. There it is, there's the time. Okay. <laughs> so the challenge modes really kind of just change things up by giving you a set, um, a set bunch of rules. It kind of forces you to play in a different way. So here, I'm going to be just running like a madman constantly. That was brilliant. Time's up there. And you need to complete these challenges to get medals, which you use to unlock all the really cool stuff. Let me in! Let me in! Oh no! I'm not going to do it! Nine seconds! Nine seconds! Nine seconds! Come on! Ooh! That only gives me three seconds! No! No, give me 30 seconds. I'm going insane. Like, I'm just going insane. Oh my god. It's panic-inducing. Come to me time. Ooh. This is probably one of the best action games in VR, like, full stop. But whether you like Resident Evil or not, it's just so good. It plays so well. And now to add a mode like this, which is just going to add a, li a literal infinite amount of replayability to it, is genius. Right, where's the time? There it is, there it is. Right, might wait in here. Oh, hello, lad! Thank you. What the f- Okay, alright. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy mackerel. Come on, son. That didn't hurt him. That was insane. There we go. Bonus round. Bonus oh, I'm running out of time. Oh, I'm out of time. Oh, that wasn't a great score. I thought that was probably a terrible score. Oh... <sighs> Enough to get three medals! I'll bloody take it! I've got ten medals now, I still can't afford anything good, but I've got ten medals, so... Yippee! Ah, <sighs> right, I'm gonna finish the video here, I'm just gonna have a quick look at Wild West, which is a mode I have played already. You get two incredibly powerful revolvers, and you dual wield them, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is the free Mercenaries mode update for Resident Evil 4 VR, it's out right now, just announced at the MetaQuest Gaming Showcase. Anyone who owns the game, you have it, come and play it, it's just a huge amount of value has just been added to this already incredible game. I know I'm only shooting one hand. I am terrible with my left hand. Now this mode's super hard because you don't even have a knife. Um, so like breaking boxes I think is really hard. Okay. Let's just keep using one gun for now. No, let's use two. Nope. Yep. 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 Yo, oh, God, that feels good. God, that feels so good. Time. I've got to get the time. You gotta get the t Hello! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Um, okay. Is she coming in? Yeah, they're coming in. God, that's just powerfully cool. Oh! We gotta go. We got. We gotta go. Oh my! Why are you all squid people? Why are you all like this? Okay, do I have any ammo? No. 
Right, we're going on an ammo run. Now I am capturing with full rate capture today and I feel like it's really pushing the quest. I'm getting little jitters in my frame rate which I've never got with Resident Evil 4. So if you see that in the video, just bear in mind that is probably because I've got the full rate capture on rather than the game itself. You wouldn't have that on while you were playing, I'm sure, unless you were creating a video. Ugh. Die! Look at all these chainsaw ladies. No wonder the game's running slow right now. There's too many chainsaw ladies. This is insane. You dead? Thank you. Die. 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 And you. Oh, no more ammo. Oh my god, almost a hundred thousand. Very nearly a hundred thousand. Come on now. Four stars. What's the 10 star score? I bet it's probably 125,000. I still have a long way to go. This is Mercenaries mode. It's incredibly fun. I think the VR version of Mercenaries mode is the best version of Mercenaries mode because it's so much more immersive and visceral and intense. And that's what horde modes should be, especially when it's just you on your own against the clock, against the enemies, against your own ammo management, and it's completely free. This adds a huge amount of value to an already incredible VR game, one of my absolute favorites. And you should all come and play around with it tonight and unlock some crazy stuff, including big head mode. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe if you did or if you have, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Take care, guys. See you later.